Hi everybody, this is Kat Berman with the Instructional Tech Team and I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use Explain Everything. So in Explain Everything, the first thing you want to do is you want to find the app on your iPad, select it, and it's going to go and open up a project for you. From here, there's any project you've worked on. If you'd like to edit it, choose the Edit button. But here we're going to hit the plus button to start a new project. Once you start a new project, it gives you a variety of options. I'm going to choose to start a new blank project. From the blank project, you're going to see that you have a variety of tools on the left-hand side. You also have some additional tools down at the bottom, which I'm going to show you quickly how to use. From the tools on the left-hand side, the plus button is going to allow you to add anything. This is where you'll spend the majority of your time, from adding pictures and videos to adding other images or equations or web browsers. I'm going to give you a demonstration of what it looks like right now. So if I go ahead and add, I'm going to choose to add a browser, and I'm going to add a website that I was just recently at. This is the Elkhart website. If I choose the hand tool, I can resize the web browser, twist it if I'd like. I can also go ahead and I can add an equation. So let's say here I wanted to add a simple math equation. Um, I could also add more complicated things like tangents or logs or square roots. Um, limits, whatever it is that you're really looking to do. So I highly suggest math teachers going in and playing with that feature. Same thing when you click the hand tool, you can make it larger or smaller. Students then can hand draw and do other things on it, which I'll show you those features next. So if you go over and you choose from your pen option, you have a variety from size to color and shape. Below that, you then have a highlighter, again with additional features. Below that, this is the eraser, which allows you to erase pictures or the websites as well as individual drawings. And below that, you have shapes going from, specifically here, I'm going to choose on the arrow. It's going to give me a variety of different shapes that I can work with. Then below that, you have font and writing in text or using voice to text. And then the X is the one that people miss the most but look for the most. This is how you delete things. So you have to choose the X and then select the item you want to delete in order to delete things and explain everything. I'm going to take a moment now to demonstrate some of the tools we just talked about. So first I'm going to select the pen tool and here you'll see I'm writing high in nice thick letters but I could change the width. After that I've selected the highlighting tool. You can change the transparency or the color of the highlighting if you want. Below that, we have the eraser tool. So I'm going to erase a portion of what I'm doing. And don't forget, if you need to, you can also choose the X to delete the entire image. Below that, we have our shape tool. So I chose a square to make. And inside of there, I can actually add text. So I'm going to click the text box. I typed in hello. Um, I can then click and drag that. Another neat option is I can choose the microphone to the left of the space bar and I can speak in voice to text. So if I say goodbye, it will type in the recording for me. Um, once you've typed them, you can use the pointer tool and click and drag any of the words that you have. You can then, I can pinch out and zoom in and make it larger and smaller. I can drag them to go into the box. I can even flip the word upside down if I really want to. Um, that's all done with the hand tool. Once we've done that, um, other options, again, if you hit the X, you can delete things as a whole. Below that, students can choose from different types of pointers. They really love the lightsabers. They also have sound effects, so they're really fun to play with. Underneath that is where you do any kind of formatting if you hit the I button. So from sending things forward or backwards, arranging them, flipping them, uh, locking certain things so they can't be moved, any of that is done. Now let's look at some of the features down at the bottom toolbar. If you click on this little carrot, it'll expand your audio recording. If you long press on this or drag it and move it, you can cut it, delete portions, um, do any fancy mixing of audio in these features in here. Um, the long press, if it's all the way at the end, will give you the delete or fade option, but if you drag it in, it'll allow you to split the sound to other um, more advanced features. In order to see all your slides, you want to click on this carrot over here with your number of slides. It will allow you to select and do a variety of other things within the slides themselves. If you long press, you can select a slide or multiple slides. You can delete them here or duplicate them. 
add additional writing onto them or if you click on this button it allows you to actually um, delete the audio from a slide or from all of your slides which is a little bit easier a way to edit the audio when recording and explain everything. Down here there's an export or your share out button. There's a couple different features here. One is to just export it as a movie which will go into your photo rolls. These movies um, are just kind of static which is an easy one but you go and you select over here for projects then this allows students to share or you to share with other students where they can still make edits to their project. Uh, in this example I'm gonna choose to export it to open it with a different app so when you click on that, it's going to give you all your different features. So if you want a student to turn in their project into a folder in Google Drive, it would show up here. Or if you wanted them to export it to Canvas, you select this one and then you could import it in once they go into Canvas. You can also airdrop or use Apple Classroom to distribute. Thank you for watching this short tutorial on Explain Everything and reach out to your instructional tech team if you have any further questions.